YouTubers, <laughs> it's me. Um, I'm gonna do a quick how to straighten hair video because I did get a request from I don't know someone on my YouTube channel asking me to do that video. So my friends wanted now to like sit so I could straighten her hair. Okay, and there she is. Um, and I'm using her brush, this brush and this straightener, which is a Conair Profusion. Um. I don't know, but it has like this little cord thingy that moves, which is good. Maybe it would help her turn it on. Um, probably, yeah, it would. Um, so, ah! Yeah, so I'm just going to start the video now, but it's not heating up. Oh, there's hair stuck in it. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. This is my friend Cassie. We go to school together. She's never been in a video with mine before. Um, yeah. So, she probably will be freaked out by how I straighten hair. <laughs> But you know. Um, I just kinda of And I'll be back. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here's our band. And I'm taking some oh, oh my god, that's really hot. And I'm just taking this hair. That would lean forward, and I'm like putting it in like a half ponytail. This this way it's not in her face because it really bothers me. And it does it doesn't matter how it looks, just make sure you don't have any like stray hairs, um, because it bothers me. Yeah. So then you like put it like this, and then you just if you're doing it to yourself, it's actually really easy. Um, and you just put it not tight, but not loose. And this rubber band is a little pain in the time. Then you just put it in there like this, and then it'll stay. If if it doesn't, you take it like this, and you take bobby pins like so, and just push it in so it'll stay down like that. Um, so let's can start to straighten now. Um, I don't know if you can see, so I'm going to have her get up for a second. Better. <laughs> like this. So now I can. Good boy. Sorry, I like to show you. Oh! Because it's carpet. So now I'm just going to keep brushing her hair. Um, her hair is my length, so if you ever want to see how long her hair is, it's not like this long. Um, well, it's like this long. Um, well, probably longer, but like this. Sorry. Kind of ish. Okay. So now, if it wasn't already obvious enough, you take your straightener. And I plug some more stuff. No, jump. And plug it in like that. Hang on. Ah, my straightener and plug socks. Why do they have to come home? This is my only plug. And then, if you have a gay plug like me, you just don't pull on. I'm just gonna like touch up right here because this is stayed straight. Um, okay, so right here. Since my straightener is like this, I have to do it with my left hand, so it's going to look really weird. Um, I'm telling you right now, I am not a professional hairstylist, so it's probably going to look like a weird way to straighten hair. So I'm just screen me. But. So I'm gonna take my finger because I'm ignoring my brushes. And I'm going to take it like this. And it doesn't matter right now how it looks, just because it's going to have to be brushed anyway. And then you take the straightener, and you just grab it as close as you feel comfortable. <laughs> and she's like, oh my god, please don't burn me. And then you just straighten it. And then it'll stay straight, hopefully. And then just to make sure that it'll stay straight, you just make sure you want to brush it, because you want to separate the heat. Because if the heat stays in your hair too long, it'll actually burn your hair. I found out I found out the hard way that that happens. So they say always brush your hair um as you straighten it. Um, yeah, like I said, I went the hard way. I ended up like burning off like some of my hair, and I didn't know. My mom was like, "Did you brush your hair?" I'm like, "No." And she's like, "Well, that's why." I'm like, "Oh, sorry." Um. So pretty much, if you're watching, or if you're totally dozed off, um, you just, sorry, I like, put a little bit of 
<laughs> That's a funny word. Oh, crap, sorry, I pulled the pulled hair. Now, the only bad thing about my straightener is that it has these floating plates. Hi, my name is Straightener that has floating plates. And, um, as you can see, it, oh my god, I'm plugged again. Oh, that little boom! It's a boom! The straightener does not work for the crap, though. Like, no joke. It doesn't even work. Wait, is it? All good. Um, you know, it pulls the hair. That's why I don't like this straightener very much. And I have a better straightener that has um, metal straightener plates. And these ones are like plastic and like little just cheap ones. Because this straightener is a wet and dry straightener. Uh, so they have to have like the, they can't have the good plates on it or else it'll fry your hair. Like when you straighten your hair when it's wet. And even though this has two settings, I still don't think it straightens my hair when it's wet. Like, I'll towel dry it and I'll put in my hair stuff and I'll blow dry it a little bit and then it'll start to straighten it when it's damp and it won't work. It'll just frizz it up. So the straightener is definitely not worth the money. Which kind of bothers me because, you know, it was like a $45 straightener. My other straightener was only $25 and I keep my hair pinned straight, which I never do. I'll keep it, like, in the straight of the day. But, like, this straightener is pretty much like a touch-up straightener, like, but for what we're doing right now. Like, she's already straightened her hair today. So pretty much, this is just to keep it like a touch-up, because we're going to do a football game. This is just to make sure that it looks like they like ran like you just did it, which is like the point of touch -up. But her hair is over the screen. Her, her hair is so thick, like, no joke. I don't know if you can see it, but this is minus this part. And like, this part is like my ponytail. <laughs> and my hair is doing pretty thin. It's not thin. Okay. Well, yeah, my ponytail's about a bit thicker. But your your hair for this bottom with the layers in it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, you guys probably can't. But here's a layer. Oh, that part was curly too. But like here's a layer. Here's a layer, and then here's a layer. And that's just the bottoms. So like imagine there's like three other layers that I could put on my hair. It's just habit of me straightening my hair and like so rough my stuff. I'm just like. Arr. And the key, if you straighten someone else's hair and they're sensitive headed. And she's not sensitive head because her hair is so thick. I can do this and it probably doesn't hurt. Does it hurt? Yeah. yeah. So for me, that would hurt. Like, see? Yeah. You're pulling pretty hard. Jeez. Um, I saw that. You're just like... <laughs> so, I don't know. Her hair is really thick. So if, if your friend is sensitive headed or you're sensitive headed, when you go to straighten their hair and you're picking out a section, um, I will show you how to do it. We'll use my brush. My brush is thin. Do you mind? No. I can't have place, obviously. <laughs> obviously. So I'll take this section of hair right here. What you want to do is you want to constantly brush it before you straighten it. You want to just go like this. It's a little bit of hair. Um, so I'm going to start with it. Um, so this can go right here for now. Okay, or not. Oh, it's not going to so I'm going to like straighten this piece of hair real quick and then we're going to be straight and pull back. Sorry guys, I feel like I'm talking so much, but I'm just trying to like straighten her hair and talk to you guys. So, you know, not the easiest. Sorry. What? Oh, was that you? No? Oh, that you screamed. Sorry. Mm -hmm. So then, now that we got that all done, hard, hard work, um, just kidding, um, can you say something else? They're so pretty. Gee, I hate my hair. I love your hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, what was I going to say? I'm going to straighten your hands. Let's just swallow my right here. I'm going to straighten your hands. Because... I thought you said I was going to straighten your eyes. Yeah, I'm going to straighten your eyes, Cassie. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Mm. I wonder how this works on my hair. Ow, oh, I'm gonna use this shirt now. Does it look right? <laughs> okay, what straightener do you use that one? My purple or not purple, my black and one. It's like a science tool. Um, it's really, it's really, really expensive, but it works really good. So um, we use it. Who's not here? Later. Um, so for this one, if you have a crappy, 
room set up like I do because your room's so small and your bathroom is like way too small for like one person. Oh my god, there's stuff. There we go. The one thing is way too small for one person. Then, yeah, I feel bad for you because mine is like that. So what I'm doing right now is, every, I hope everyone knows this, but there's oil in everyone's hair. Like it doesn't matter if you have like the driest hair ever. There's oil in everyone's hair. So a good way to straighten hair easy for sensitive headed people is you actually brush from underneath. Sorry, I can just pull your hair. Um, and then you brush like this, and then like this, like five times. Because then the hair is actually softer, and it's thick, well, that doesn't thicken the hair. Right? Um, like if you brush, like, down to your head, like, right, like, right here. I can't show you because it's like, right here. Um, ow. What? You're, like, <laughs> it'll, um, oh, right here. oh. It will kill the dead molecules, which will then, in turn, give you dandruff, or whatever it's called. Um, which isn't bad, you can get rid of it, but it's just... I think it's better for thick-headed people to just brush from mid shaft down, unless they have thick hair like me and my friend do. Um, I don't know if you want to see it now. Okay. Um, so this is a pretty thick section, and I have a one-inch straightener, and the one-inch one-inch straightener. Oh, sorry, that was just from your hair. Okay. Doesn't mean it's one inch thick. It's one inches or inches thick, not long, because the long is always like two or three inches. Now, wait, turn out. So, like I was just saying, you always want to brush the hair. You always want to like brush the hair before you straighten it, and then you just straighten it like a regular piece of hair. If you get as close as you can with that, and then you pull it down. It goes really curly instead of out, like so. And then it'll stay straight. So I don't know if you guys can see, but if you can, it. It's actually really straight, uh, which is good because that's like the main frame of her hair is the back of it. Um, so it was like the face part, but if the face part is curly and the back is straight, it actually makes your hair look natural instead of like done up, I guess you could say. And I don't know, some people like that done up, oh look, I just straightened my hair look. Well, some people like the, I want this to look natural. So that's how I do my hair, you see who I do hair. Do fair hair. Um, sorry. And then, yeah. So then, I'm not going to straighten, well, on camera, I'm not going to finish straightening this part of her hair. I'm just going to show you um, how to conquer this problem. <laughs> not problem, but, so you take out the clip, and the body pin, sorry. And actually, the best way to do this when you're taking it down, outside is to brush this through, just to make sure you don't miss anything. Um, I love doing hair and makeup, so if you guys are like wondering why I'm making her sit here, so she wanted me to re-straighten her hair, so I'm just going to do it on video camera, so I was going to end up doing this video on me. So, anyway, you want to push it all to one side. Then you want to make sure that you have a good grip on the top of her hair, or his, or whoever you're doing, and then pull it out so it's like a ponytail. And this way you don't have any snarls, well, like in the main part of it, you want to brush it. Um, and then, hope to God that you didn't, you know pull out her hair while doing this. You want to just loosen it up as much as you can and then just pull it out. Um, but then the key is make sure that you keep it um, like that because then if there's any snarls on the main part of it you can move them out. <laughs> You're like smiling yourself. So, so I'm laughing at you. Oh sorry. I like doing hair. I don't laugh at you. It's not nice. So then you just pretty much like finish straightening it. Or yeah, straightening it. Oh, she, you have bangs, right? Yeah. You want your bangs up or down? Um, I prefer them down. Are you going to wear a headband? No. Okay. Um, since she does have bangs, it's... I'm going to go and straighten this since Shelby's... I'm, I'm going to put this part of her hair in a ponytail again, because I'm going to straighten her bangs and the, fa the uh, uh, face frames separately. Um, because no matter what haircut you have, you have... Uh, face frames, which is like a couple, hi dogs, which is a couple strips of hair, um, hi. beside your face. Hi puppies. So then for this, you're gonna wanna do that, and then you actually wanna like take it like this, and then body pin it down again, but like this way it's not in her face.